Howdy folks! Welcome back to the continuation segment of LPGC Series of Cargo Operations, Part 8, Change Over of Cargo. There is not much reactions and comments on my previous videos, whether I am on the right track or not. Suggestions or honest to goodness scrutiny would be appreciated. Please subscribe, like, and comments. Let's begin. The image as shown is a general standard for preparing a cargo tank in LPG gas carrier. These are generally the same and applicable and fully refrigerated, semi-pressurized and fully refrigerated, semi-pressurized and semi-refrigerated LPG ships. Whilst for the fully pressurized LPG vessel, just take off the cooling down section and it should be likewise the same, unless a colder temperature and not in ambient condition is loaded, then the same sequence applies. So, as we can see in this float chart, if the vessel is coming from dry dock, then a complete cycle must be done in sequence. However, we just skip that part and go directly in a condition where the vessel had recently loaded and discharged a cargo. In this respect, let's assume the cargo loaded and discharged, for example, is propane, butane, or perhaps a mixture or segregated. To further expound, this is an example scenario as laid out. In most common practices, the vessel shall receive correspondence, example, cargo quantity estimation inquiries that can be loaded sent by the operation department. By default, the operation department and prospective charterers knew the vessel's history. Hence, they would know already if it requires cargo change over, is needed or not. Likewise, the chief officer, through the master supervision, will check based on the next cargo to be loaded, what grade or arrangement, like segregation of two cargo grades or is it the same grade as previously loaded or different grade than of the last cargo and all related info must be acquired in general the compatibility chart is consulted for cargo change over procedures in most cases when vessel is loading the same grade or saturated hydrocarbons like propane butane ethane such preparations may not be required this, however, will be decided or advised by the cargo owner or charterer and the operation department. Whilst when cargo grades like petrochemical gas, cargo, or unsaturated hydrocarbons, then shifting from saturated to unsaturated hydrocarbons, cargoes, and vice versa, or petrochemical gas to another unsaturated, example, ammonia to propylene oxide, then such cargo chains over is needed. Well, the reason is obvious. It's all about compatibility where cargo may go out of specification and worse, chemical reactions occur that affects the cargo itself, the containment, and overall safety of the ship. So, let's go over to the compatibility chart so we can see the requirements for a cargo change over. Alright, so let's uh, demonstrate it. As of now, I'm showing a tank cleaning table. For next cargo this is an uh, excerpt or uh, extract from the uh, edition of uh, lpg cargo handling principles uh, i think that's the latest edition you have to check and likewise you can find an um, equivalent also i think if i'm not mistaken with the ics uh, safety uh, tank uh, cleaning guide or safety guide for tankers i think uh, i might be mistaken with the title so anyway uh, you'll see here uh, for example i'm gonna put in this uh, so-called uh, roller and uh, you'll find here and I'm gonna just uh, make the uh, display a little bit bigger so that you'll have a bigger and there they go so we'll just align this one so this is butane and uh, I'm gonna insert it and let's say uh, we will be loading a propylene cargo right so as you can see you put here the line and there you go and also uh, we might as well Put this to uh, another line here so, um, just make it a little bit more articulate so you have a better uh, perspective or overview and there you go so it says here uh, victory or end of november that means uh, when we look at the legend it's on the other side we'll just take this off and this is actually the legend right so as you can see, uh, W means water was, B, V is visual inspection, N is 
inert with nitrogen only, N2 and I is inert with nitrogen or inert gas, ET, that's not extraterrestrial, means empty tank, which means as far as the pumps can go. And of course, so we all know to the fact that there are still unpumpable liquids, so we call it uh, remaining on board, you know, OBQ. And of course, S is standard requirements, which means cargo tanks and cargo piping to be liquid free at uh, 0.5 bar over pressure, that is depending on the uh, ship type uh, containment, fire to loading. And if you read this note bef uh, on the, the bottom, before any in inner thing starts, the tank bottom temperature should be heated to about 0 degrees Celsius. And uh, a cargo tank should not be open for inspection until the tank temperature is close to ambient condition. Uh, one of the reasons of this uh, note is that uh, with regards to the temperature in the tank, you don't want to end up with a lot of uh, humidity and it creates a condensation and uh, that would produce uh, water uh, or other liquids inside. So likewise, uh, when the tank is uh, to be opened, then make sure that it's close to ambient conditions. Right? Because when you open, then uh, it's, if it's warmer inside and uh, the temperature on the ambient, is, let's say the other way around, it's warmer outside and it's colder inside, or either way, it's warmer inside and colder in, uh, outside, then it could cause uh, a lot of condensation or humidity, and that would ruin your uh, uh, tank cleaning or uh, processing of chance over because you will be uh, drying the tanks uh, with uh, a lot of delays. You, know, you have a lot of water and things like that. So that is one reason you need to have that kind of condition or requirement. So yeah, th this is just the uh, uh, guidelines. Uh, at the end of the day, it is the uh, cooperation department from your main office, or whichever, I do not know how you call it, but uh, in our uh, my previous uh, shipping company, we call it uh, operation department. Uh, likewise, it's the charterer uh, liaising uh, with them uh, on what will be the uh, decision to proceed. Of course, they are always uh, going forward to the uh, what is the right uh, way and uh, method. And you have your company uh, procedures, uh, PNA manual as, as well, and the company uh, regulations to follow. So that is the main um, thing that you need to look at, your documents on board, plus your operation department, charterers advice. This is just only uh, a guideline that you can look at so that you have an idea what to do. So again, the final decision will be from the uh, side of the uh, shipping owner and the owner of the cargo as well, if the charter party has concluded to proceed with the uh, contract or let's say for example you have a loading order which uh, dealing has been signed all right so in the next uh, discussion so in the next discussion i'll be showing you now on the process we'll just uh, assume that we need to change over and prepare the tanks so then we need to go with the process that's the next part on part 8 alpha or 8a segment of these discussions